Resale Rabbit here and I am at the dealership getting an oil change. Today, oh it's getting loud. Today I am going to be thrifting Wassa, which is a small town in the middle of the state of Wisconsin. That's about all I have to say about that. So um, let's go. We're at the first Goodwill. It's in Shawano, Wisconsin, a small town about halfway to Wassa. I'm pretty sure this is the only thrift store here, so we'll hit this and then get going. But first, I want to answer a couple of questions that people asked. I had one person ask me what app I use to scan these products. It's the Amazon Seller app. I prefer that over any of the third-party apps. It's free, and it gives me all the information I need. Second question, I've had people ask why I don't in input the cost of goods sold in inventory lab. I just do my accounting differently. I send it all to my accounting firm that I work with and they handle the rest. It's easier and quicker for me that way. Another question, I've had people ask about consignment stores. I don't make a lot of money in consignment stores, a couple hundred bucks a month, but I do drop stuff off there periodically, decor pieces or electronics that I can't really sell on Amazon or eBay. I just dropped off a Keurig at a consignment store yesterday and they had $40 waiting for me from other sales and I used that to buy a $150 DVD recorder. So consignment stores are a good way to make a little side income from stuff that you find in thrift stores. Pawn shops as well. If you remember three, four days ago, I was at, I believe, Beaver Dam at a Goodwill, and I bought a five-disc CD changer. I bought it only for the remote. I spent five bucks. The remote, I anticipate, 30 to $50 on eBay. Well, the changer itself, you need speakers to send it into Amazon. It's actually a home theater system. I'm not going to deal with buying speakers to send it in. It didn't have a great rank. I brought it to a local pawn shop, and they gave me 18 bucks for it. It's cash, zero risk of returns, and I made almost four times my money. So I do bring things to pawn shops to sell them periodically as well. But that's enough talking. Let's get into Goodwill and uh, make some money. First find a brand new puzzle. They want $3.99. There's nobody on the listing. The rank isn't that great, but puzzles are a unique item where rank is irrelevant, especially when there's no one on the listing. I'm going to try and get 20 for it. Next, we've got a board game. It doesn't have an amazing rank, but I think it'll sell. It might take a little longer. We're gonna get six, $18, almost 19 bucks after fees, and they want $2.99. Here is a Pentax camera for $4.99. I will get 27 after fees, but inside the box, oops, inside the box is this remote, brand new. I'm gonna get 16 after fees, and it should sell pretty quick. It's right there. Here is a speaker for a Creative Zen. I know the actual device is worth a couple hundred dollars. The speaker, 26 reviews, so that means when it was in stock, it was selling. It does not have a good rank, but it's not in stock. I'm gonna buy it and uh, see if I can get more for it. I have no idea what to expect. A lot of people talk about this. They see this little icon on it and it says, inventory alert. A lot of people have been asking me why I send these in. What do I do with them? You can still send this in. It's just Amazon saying it's a slow moving product. We don't think it's going to sell. I send it in anyways and usually it sells anyways. I go based on rank and reviews. I pretend that doesn't even exist. Couple more good things. This Sony VCR they want. I can't see that. I think it was $7.99 and it comes with the remote. Look at that number three rank. 76 after fees that'll sell quick in addition to that i found this and i did check that it is the correct item the price is 15 dollars and used i will get 41 after fees i also got this camera 25 dollars i should get 72 after fees i'm going to test her out first at that price and this where is it in here also needs to be tested but they want eight bucks and I should get 72 after fees these are normally worth looking at it's 40 oh, it's brand new never mind this one isn't a good one 6.99 and obviously they want 39.99 but I've sold similar models of this for as much as $200 used walkie-talkies are also a good find but at 24.99 I'm not even gonna bother looking them up 
this candle warmer. They want $2.99. I will get $15 after fees, but unfortunately I can't sell it. The camera works great, so I will be buying it. Everything in here tested to work perfectly fine, and in addition to that, I found this microphone, $6.99. I will get $21 after fees. At this store, I spent $87, and I project to get about $417 after fees for all that stuff. There were some good items in there. The VCR is going to sell quick. There were no other thrift stores in Shawano. There's a consignment shop, but I'm not going there. Let's go to Wausau. We are doing some Wendy's arbitrage. I am going to buy these and sell them to my stomach. If you have a pizza ranch in your area, do not go there. It's basically a frozen pizza you'd get at the grocery store. It's, you know, it's not bad, but I'm not going to spend 14 bucks on something that I can get for three in the grocery store. And right next door is Goodwill. But first, I'm going to eat this bag of deliciousness. First find at this store, $4.99 Bop It Extreme. These old Bop It games go for decent money. $38 after fees. It's got a pretty good rank. Now, if you're wondering why I'm looking at collectible, you cannot sell used toys on Amazon. So what people will do is they will list as collectible. Next, we've got this Oregon Scientific Thermometer, $7.99. It does not have a good rank. But that's because it's at 100 right now. I'm going to price it at $39.99 and see what we can do. We've also got this 5-disc DVD changer by Sony, $19.99. I am going to get $149 after fees, and I actually am about to send one of these in today. It's been a while since I found a guitar, Hero Guitar, but this one for the Xbox, they want $5.99. And the current price on it, I'd get $55 after fees. So at this store, I spent $41, and I think I can turn that into about $250 after fees. Let's go on to the next one. So one of the downsides about thrifting in small towns are everything closes early. It is 5.17 p.m., and literally just about every thrift store in town is now closed. A lot of them close at 3, 4, there's one that closed at 5. All that's left open is this Goodwill and the Goodwill that I'm about to head to. So... Unfortunately, we drove about two hours out here to go to two stores, but um, it happens. Let's see if we can get a slam dunk at the next store and then head back to Green Bay. There are two stores that I want to hit. I hit them just the other day, but it's worth a shot, so let's go. I am at the second Goodwill of Wausau, third of the day. Let's see what we can find in here. First find here, this Magnavox converter box. They want $6.99, and I should get $37 after fees with a decent rank. Here's an excellent item, a Samsung DVD VCR. It's a DVD recorder, worth a lot of money, but unfortunately it's missing this faceplate, so I'm gonna leave it behind. Here's a Sony radio, very similar to the one that I bought the other day. $42 after fees. The next item is a home run by no means, but a brand new Rolodex, $1.99. I'll get $4.25 after fees. One more quick double up, $3.99 for that, and I will get $8.01 after fees. Reasonably decent rank. It's uh, someone's Christmas gift. Lastly, I am getting this globe. It is $4.99, and globes do well at the consignment shop that I go to. This one's just a cheap one, but I mean, even the cheap ones sell decent. I should be able to get 10, 15 bucks for it. Well, that's it for Wausau. Unfortunately, the other stores are closed, so there's nothing else here. We're gonna go back to Green Bay. It's about a two hour drive. I'm gonna show you a couple of stores there. Got myself a uh, sugar rush to keep me awake. They're delicious. All right, I'll see you in two hours. We are at St. Vincent de Paul in Green Bay. That was a long two hour drive, but for you, it probably went by pretty quick. Uh, we are here just a few minutes before they close. That's a handicapped spot, so I'm gonna back in over here. We're here just a few minutes before they close. We're gonna rush in there and uh, see what we can find. First find this phone here, it's $4. 
Gmark Amp 455. It looks high end. There's nobody on the listing. Oh, never mind. It's in health and personal care, so I couldn't sell it used anyway. So I'm actually going to pass on this. Well, this one was a quick rush in and out. We walked in five minutes before they closed. Didn't find anything in the couple of sections I checked. There's a Goodwill right now down the road, so let's go hit that. We are at Goodwill, only a few blocks from my warehouse, and I wanted to quick show you something. Um, I don't remember if I bought this on one of my videos or not, but I did just buy this the other day. It was a hair color. I spent like $2.99 or $3.99 from Goodwill. There was nobody on the listing. I basically paid what it retails for at Walmart, and I said, you know what, there's no one on the listing, it's probably out of production, and I'm going to price it high. Just a few days later, I'm going to have to flip this around because you can't see that. Just a few days later, it sold $34.99 plus $9.09 .09 shipping. I got $37.47 is for one box of hair color. So at this store, my cell signal just died on both of my phones. Uh, I found three items. I got this. Unfortunately, it's just one of the sets, one of the phones in there. I paid $6.99 for this. It's for one of these in the back. I should get about $25 after fees. And then I got this here. I paid $10. And I should get about $150 after fees. Uh, let's see. Where's the model number? Right there. I actually just ran into a friend. How's it going? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Just got done thrifting in Wassa and uh, hitting Green Bay. Good. Uh, my name's Ken. I'm in the green room also. I am a rookie compared to the rabbit. Well, everybody is. Everybody is. <laughs> we should all live a plant-based diet so we can keep up, keep up with the rabbit. I don't eat plants. No? Nope. A lot of beef. So I spent the day complaining about small towns, all the things I don't like, everything closes early. and There are a lot of things I don't like about small towns, but there is one thing that I really do like that you just don't get in a big city. You can be out and about and you run into a friend. That does not happen in a big city. You know, I lived in Nashville, I lived in Charlotte, Indianapolis, never ran into people I knew there. But in Green Bay, it happens every day. In fact, at that very goodwill we were just at, I probably run into someone I know once every fifth or sixth time I go in there. It's kind of funny. And I meet a lot of people in there too. Shout out to Alan, a friend of mine. He found saw me on YouTube and met me for the first time at a Goodwill. He just happened to run into me at that very Goodwill. But uh, that's all for today. It was a uh, pretty uneventful day, but we did all right. We finished out that last door with a bang. So I will see you guys in the next video. I mentioned before we're going to Milwaukee, so maybe that'll be the next video. Bye-bye.